Hey guys, it's Ken and Carol from KBD Productions TV. Um, my mom uh, loves this company, HelloFresh. She's been using them for a couple years and I wanted to try it. We have four meals in here. We're going to actually cook two and because my strength is videotaping and Carol's strength is cooking, uh, this video we're going to meet, I'm going to videotape it and then Carol uh, is going to cook. And then in the next video, uh, Carol's going to videotape it and show off her uh, camera skills and I'm going to cook and sh try to show off my cooking skills. It's not going to go well. But anyway, we'll see how long it takes. All right, Carol, let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, first though, I'm going to show you because I'm going to have to rip that open. So we've got the nutrition facts here for serving size 500 grams, how many calories and all the other nutrition facts. We've got the nice buns. We've got ketchup. One for each of us. Oh, nice, a lot of ketchup. Yeah. 30 mils. And we've got, oh, oh snap, dilly bites, crunchy dill pickle. We've got two potatoes for awesome. making a home fries or potato wedges. Oh, look mayonnaise for on top of our sandwich garlic salt italian breadcrumbs nice an onion mozzarella cheese i'll be using more of that than carol ah uh, yes i won't be using any of that <laughs> so the i'm quite happy with the look of the potatoes and the onion sometimes yeah. now now in the stores sometimes the produce isn't very good sometimes so yeah. these are quite nice looking they're potatoes they're nice and firm so I like that it's awesome okay let's right. get into it let's do it before you start getting it going I would suggest reading the instructions just to make sure that you have everything that you need and it also says start here so before starting, preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Wash and dry all produce. And then it says what we'll need. Bust out, it says what we'll need. So two baking sheets, a medium bowl, measuring spoons, spatula, parchment paper, small bowl, two large non-stick pans. All right, that's all. Awesome. That's all the ingredients that we need. There's some things that they don't give you. Um, and I think like oil and salt and pepper, I think, and sugar. Those are the three things that aren't in our kit. Right. So they're highlighted there. They so say pantry, pantry items. items yeah. yeah. So there are some things you definitely need in your home uh, before you start cooking these things. Mm -hmm. Roast potato wedges. So we have to cut the potatoes into half inch wedges. So it says it's going to take 25 minutes. It is uh, 1.46 in the afternoon. Carol, go. Go. <laughs> it's not a speed test. Just take your time. Okay. Turn the oven on. Bake. 4.50. Start. Always check to make sure there's nothing in there. Rip. Storage sometimes. There you go, hon. Thank you. Snap, or however they do it. Just add a tablespoon of oil. Half the garlic salt. How are you supposed to figure out? Pepper, but I don't like pepper. Step two, caramelize the onions. There you go. Thank you. Start caramelizing. <laughs> Slices. 
it's almost at temperature. The oven's ready. Taters in. Well, let's put them in. 25 to 28. All right. And the oil is nice and hot, ready to go. Okay, while we're waiting for the onions to caramelize, we're going to move on to step three and we're going to form the patties. Garlic. Meanwhile, add the turkey, breadcrumbs, and the remaining garlic salt. Breadcrumbs. We're going to Divide it into half to make two patties. Okay, and this is going to be Ken's, so you're going to have to do the pepper. It's time to flip the potato. Let's see. Oh, they're looking oh, good. Oh, we'll sizzle on that. Yeah. Look good. All flipped and back in it goes. See ya. We add the sugar to the onions to make them a little bit more caramelized. So this is one teaspoon. Smells so good. I'm gonna use the big pan. For our patties. Thank you. Wait till it gets warm and then we add the oil. Pan fry the patties until they are cooked through. Four to five minutes per side. Are those done? I think so. I think so. It's not the best non stick, so we're using a little bit of oil. A little bit of extra oil extra than oil. what the recipe calls for. Yeah. And I'm going to put on my apron because I don't want to get oil splattered on my shirt. It's apron time. Apron time. It's four to five minutes per side, so we're going to do four minutes. Meanwhile, stir together ketchup and mayo in a small bowl. Nice little pull tab. Here we were thinking we'd put individual ketchup on each burger. Yeah, so that's like it gets the burgers. Put it on after. Ketchup and mayo in a small bowl and set aside. Ooh. Mm. Toast the buns, half the buns. Oh, there's this oven. Yeah. The potatoes are supposed to be done. Oh, oh they my look gosh, good. They look great. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, half the buns arranged cup side up. Sprinkle cheese over the buns. Then toast. Ah. Oh, everything's done at the same time. That's to flip the burgers. All right, there we go. Ready? Yeah. Oh, they look super good. That's good. Step five, let's do it. Now the cheese. I can't eat cheese, so I'm not going to put cheese on mine. All four, but we're not only going to do two. We'll have some extra cheese, maybe. Okay. They're looking good. Poultry is. 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Check those buns, baby. It's all right. Darn. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little carried away, and uh, no problem. No problem. Oh, look at that. That's done That's perfectly. That's perfect. Carol's is a little bit because overcooked. Because mine didn't have any yeah, cheese. Should. That's okay. But look at mine. Yeah, yours is perfect. Dynamite. Oh, yeah. Poor Carol. 
This is what I remember doing as a kid because you couldn't control, the, couldn't control the toaster. Yeah. I'm going to turn off the uh, fan. It's too loud. Now that looks perfect. Look at that perfection, people. Is there? Well, yeah, it's a toast song. Song of all those toasts. There. Much better. Yeah. Now it's perfection. What did I just say? It says tip. Keep an eye on the buns so they don't burn. Good tip. Thanks, Hello Fresh. Uh oh. <laughs> Next, we have to spread some fry sauce over top of the buns and then stack the pickles, patties, and caramelized onions on the bottom buns. So sauce it? Sauce it on the top bun. That's the bottom. And of course, however much you want. Yeah. I'll take two scoops, please. Okay. It's gonna overflow. Oh yeah, that's good. That's what I want. All right. I want it to look epic. Pickles. Patties. Teamwork. Oh! Lots of juice in here. 74. Yours is done, yep. Caramelized onions. Are you ready? It's all gonna go sloppy. Yeah, it's gonna go crazy. Nice. Oh yeah. Ooh, that sounds like perfect. That. That's great. That looks awesome. There you go. Okay. Do yours. Okay. The onions are amazing. Nice. Yeah, don't squish it too much. I'm actually going to put some more of this on the bottom. That's a great idea. Because I do like mayonnaise and ketchup on my burgers. There you go. There. Plonk. Plonk. Let's eat. Okay. Let's eat. Nice job, Carol. Thank you. Let's eat it up. All right. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, oh dang. Mm, oh, I'm tasty. Totally mm. waiting to much into one of these things. Mm. Potatoes are done awesome. Yep. This looks like a, a two hander. Yeah. But, Wait, let me hold your plate for okay, you. Okay, thank you. Because that is gooey and ooey. Wow. Check that out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, can't wait. I'm going to try and get everything in one bite. Nailed it. Mmm. Good. Oh yeah. The cheese, the onions, and the, the sweetness of the caramelized onions, and mm. the um, the that's, turkey is just awesome. fantastic. I just got bun that time. <laughs> yeah, it's hard, yeah. <laughs> it did say in the recipe to, to make the burger five inches wide, and I didn't measure, I just kind of made it, so. I'd also recommend squishing them down more. They'll cook a little bit faster. That's probably why the five inches wide would make it that flat and skinny. The mozzarella cheese is like totally making this thing work like way better than if you did not use the cheese and putting the cheese on there. It's also helping the bun not absorb any of the juices. Mm. That's why they're all dripping out. Mm. That is fantastic. It's really good. I'm enjoying that a lot. As a lot of you guys know, I used to hate pickles, but I'm starting to enjoy them on a lot of things. And this is definitely one of the things I didn't think I would like it on, but because I've tried it with it on first before I went any further, uh, it tastes great. And I totally recommend putting the pickles on this. And dragging it, your bun, through the sauce. Mm-hmm. It gets all over your face, <laughs> but it's worth it. You totally crisp up the, um, the turkey. It's got a nice crunch to it on the outside. Mm-hmm. But again, that mozzarella cheese, thank you. Oh, I could have put some of my non-dairy cheese on there. Mm. That would have been good. I'm so hot. Yeah. So the fact that you had to cut up your potatoes and put them in the oven, and that's pretty much the longest process. That takes the longest to cook. Mm -hmm. um, and then do the caramelized onions like we did the whole process. I'm sure if you ordered this several times, like you would get a nice good pace going. But because this is our first time doing anything from HelloFresh, 
and following that kind of instruction and doing multiple things, um, uh, it took us a little bit longer. Well, yeah, because we were also we were videotaping yeah. to show each yeah. step, and then sometimes we had to redo a step. Yeah, so. just to make sure the video worked for you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the choice choice of buns is good too. It is good. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I would put m more garlic in on the potatoes because I like mm -hmm. really seasoned potatoes. Okay, yeah. Because. You can taste it, and you can smell it, but I like really seasoned home fries. Mm. So that's what I would probably do. Like more garlic powder, or yeah, add garlic. Add add some more garlic powder. Because we did get a garlic, but it's not for this recipe. Mm. When adding fresh garlic onto home fries, it, they sometimes don't stick when you're doing them in the oven. If you do them in the pan. And, and like in a skillet and fry them, then you can have the garlic in there really nicely. Ken's mom does a really nice hash brownie kind of thing at the cottage with potatoes and that. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Onions and garlic, it smells so good. Well, let's finish this up and we'll be right back. All right. Carol has the cleaner plate award than yep. I do. All right, guys. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Carol for uh, wanting to be in this video and cooking hello fresh meal for us uh, don't forget in the next uh, video I'll be cooking Carol's gonna be videotaping so you guys can uh, compare who does a better job at what uh, there'll be it'll be a different meal but I think we'll have a lot of fun doing it yep so high five good job and I'd like to thank every single one of you guys for watching these videos thumbsing up leaving those comments you guys are amazing and a special thanks goes out to all our channel members for all your monthly support and our supporters over on patreon you guys rock if you enjoyed this video and you want to show your support for Carol and I doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that playlist we dumped down somewhere on the screen and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger. We said bring your hunger. Bring your hunger. All right.